Welcome to the Fablo AgriLife Podcast, where we promote better living for healthy Texans. Every episode, we'll cover a health or wellness topic, as well as some lifestyle challenges that we face. All right, welcome back to the Fablo AgriLife Podcast. I'm Jocelyn. I'll be leading the po- that, today's podcast, and with me today is Nicole. Hello. And Drew. <laughs> hey, everybody. And today we're going to talk about sun safety because it's summertime and as you know, we all want to be outside right now, but sometimes too much of anything, especially sun, is a bad thing. So we're going to go over some safety tips as well as some advice to help you keep safe under the sun. Sounds good to me. (laughs) Who wants to take it away or lead it? I will start us off. Okay, so a couple of questions that we are going to address. One of them is... All right, can I get skin cancer just because of my normal routine? Like driving to work, hobbies, vacations. This doesn't include like a long time outdoors. So I'm not in the sun a whole bunch, but I'm still getting sun rays when, like I said, driving to work. So, and you can get sunburn in the car. I remember when I drove to Vegas, it was a very long drive, and I got to. <laughs> A truck stop, we hit like a pit stop, and I was red as a tomato because oh of the sun. <laughs> yeah, my mom's like, I think you're sunburned. I was like, I think so too. And it was from driving in the car. So you can through a window. Yeah, yeah, through a window. So you can get sunburned in your car. So if you have tinted windows, that should probably help, but also make sure they're legal. So ask your person to make sure they're the legal tint. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You don't. <laughs> yeah, because you can get pulled over. <laughs> But I will say, that is a good investment. If you can tint your windows, do it. Because I got it. I was, yeah, I was sad. So, the answer to the question is yes, obviously. (laughs) Because Jocelyn tests the theory on that. Dermatologists have done research. And basically, any sun exposure through the window of the car or if you're just out for a little bit, or even sitting by a window at work during peak hours, which are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., the UV light, the UV rays from the sun can still damage your skin. So it's best if you can get some kind of sun protection or wear long sleeves, like the ones that, like the long sleeve, like fishing shirts that have the UV protection in there, and then apply sunscreen because you can still get you know skin cancer just from driving to work or to las vegas apparently so <laughs> it was for an internship by the way i just want to clear my name <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't going to party yeah. <laughs> just you know because every time anyone hears vegas we think party but it was for an internship so yes. like getting you know if you for ladies if you wear makeup getting a foundation that has spf already in it or just getting a nice Sun, sunblock that will help with the UV rays. So I thought that was interesting. I was like, surely not. Well, no. <laughs> sure enough, you sure can. <laughs> you sure can. And truth be told, anyone can get skin cancer. You're not an exception just because you, you're not in the sun as often. Everyone's body's different, so just protect yourself in general. But you can get sunburned from driving. <laughs> just saying. For sure. Any other helpful tips? I will say that sunscreen does expire, and I also learned this from experience, not from me, but my kids. I sent them to the beach with expired, it was like three years, sorry, it doesn't say much for me, but uh, <laughs> it was expired, and they were st- they were toasty roasty, and I felt so bad, and then I looked at the deal, and it was actually my youngest that was like, mom, this was expired, and he was, he, he, they peeled. It was bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it does expire, so oh, watch out for that. I know, because I'm pretty guilty of that. Like, you know, when you put things away, and like when summer's done, you put it away, and you're like, okay, I'll get it for next summer. Yeah. But you don't think about reading the expiration date, so that's a very good advice. But in general, too, because I'll never forget me and my accidents. So with eye drops, too, they have an expiration date. Okay, and one time I stabbed myself in the eye with my, I was in band, I stabbed myself in the eye with my instrument because there was a hole, long story. But anyway, in my, (laughs) 
I know. Anyway, I Jacqueline put... Jacqueline is full of life <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I put the, I was putting these drops in my eye because it was feeling better. And then I go to the doctor and he's like, these are expired. <laughs> and I threw them in the trash. He's like, this did nothing for you. And I was like, dang. <laughs> so everything has an expiration date, whether it's sunblock, eye drops, check it. And that applies to food safety as well. So read your labels. <laughs> Well, actually, you made a good point, too, that you said, and I am guilty of this, too. We don't put sunscreen on in the winter, but you need it all year round. Oh, that's right. I didn't think about so that. So we're doing sun safety. We think about it more during the summer, but really it's just something all year round. You need to protect yourself if you're out running or running errands or just your lotion. Your moisturizer needs to have it on there. Maybe your cosmetics have some UV protection. Definitely. That's a very good point. And sometimes, and I know finding a foundation or makeup that has sunscreen is kind of tricky. So just test it around, find different products and find one that works for you. Cause everyone has like a different, I guess, tolerance. Cause some of them come out greasy, some of them don't. So just find one that works for you. Yes. You know, I will say I'm all about wearing sunglasses and a big hat. And the more you can cover, I know Nicole brought it up with a long sleeve shirt and it's true. Like Especially in the summer, we think don't wear long sleeves because it's so hot. But it doesn't have to be a fitted long sleeve shirt. It could be a loose fitted one. So as much as you can cover up, the better. And of course, you can definitely get sun. We're saying not to be in the sun. We're saying you can be in the sun. Just be cautious about it. Be protective. Um, you definitely. We want you to get your vitamin. Is it vitamin D? Yeah. <laughs> we all need vitamin D. So definitely, just take precautions when you're out in the sun. And just because it's cloudy doesn't mean there's no sun or UV rays, okay? There can be UV rays even on a cloudy day. And like Drew said, even in winter, when the, maybe we don't see the sun as much, there's still UV rays. So we got to stay protected. Did anyone try that experiment with the beads? You know, the speeds? Oh, yes. I used to teach science. We used to do it all the time. Yeah, so there's these like, cool UV beads. And even on a cloudy day, if you put it outside, it'll still glow because there's still UV rays. <laughs> and you can put sunscreen on them and they won't. Really? Yay. I never tried that. You look at a science <laughs> teacher. <laughs> little facts. Yeah. And then we are going to say this, and it's true. So those who like to tan, <laughs> good for you. But at the same time, you have to be really careful because there's no other way to say it. Tanning your skin is still damaging your skin. So you have to be really careful with tanning beds. Or if you're t going outside to tan, you're still getting too much sun. So mm -hmm. just be really cautious and use your sunblock and if you do get sunburn I'm a big fan of aloe vera that one with the cool gel what oh, I like yeah. to do is put it in the refrigerator and then mm -hmm. apply it oh you're one of those people yeah <laughs> it's cold I don't yeah. want cold on my sunburn like, I'm already cold but you're like hot you get, get sunburn no when I get oh, sunburn yeah. I'm hot you not feel the heat like I'm just like yeah you're hot but then you're cold inside yes yeah. Yeah. like uh, me too. Um, <laughs> like no so, lavender <laughs> If you do get sunburn, lavender and rose rose oil or rose water, that's what it actually helps cool it and kind of calm it. So old school, I was life lesson. <laughs> Another life lesson. <laughs> Number two. We need to rename this is podcast Jocelyn's life lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so when I went to I studied abroad. No, it was like a Europe trip in high school. And what happened was I did not cover my skin. I had my hair up in a bun and my neck got sunburned. And in Europe at the time, there was no aloe vera, which I was used to. So we had to go hard <laughs> old school and use vinegar. Ooh. That burns. But that you can still you use smell. You do yeah. smell. <laughs> but I thought that was an old wives' tale. No, it worked. It really did help with the sunburn. But if you don't have aloe vera or other rose water, lavender oil, yeah. you can go old school with vinegar. But it is going to sting. But it does work. And be careful, especially your kids. If you put their put you know like a little girl's hair in ponytails. I remember as a kid having my hair in ponytails, and my scalp would get burned. You know, where the <gasps> yes! part is. <laughs> So yes. make sure you're spraying your hair too, or your kid's scalp, or put if you're hat. wearing your hair, put a hat. Yeah. Something, yeah. Yeah. Just because you think it's not gonna happen, it can happen. It might, Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> My life lessons. I'm gonna start a new podcast and call it Life Lessons. <laughs> so I know the days are getting longer, oh, yeah. and we're, I mean, kids want to be outside, we want to be swimming, and all that stuff. But it's really best that we. 
avoid direct sunlight between about 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. because that is where the UV rays are the strongest and it's the hottest part of the day. So let's talk about that. It's too hot here in Texas to be out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon doing stuff. So Did you ever get in the shade? I always get peed when I'm seeing, like I'm driving and I see someone running at that hour, like at noon. It's like, person, it's, it's hot. It's too hot for that. <laughs> Go yeah, do it in the afternoon. Stroke. Well, you know, even I get home like around 6 and even my car thing says like 99. It's like, oh, oh you don't want to be out on asphalt right then. It's no, just, um, I've tried to do that and I end up calling my husband to come pick me up because it's just too hot. I'm like, nope, can't do it. It's hot. It's like, I told you so. so. Okay. Yeah, so listen to Nicole. Try to do it before 10 and make an after 4 because it'll be a little bit cooler. I mean, it's still hot. It's Texas, but yeah. definitely for sure. Any final thoughts to wrap up our sun safety? I will say my final thought. Be better than me. Learn from my life lessons. Okay. <laughs> Don't use expired, especially on your kids because it makes you feel really bad. Yeah. Oh, and make sure you're using at least 30 SPF oh, yeah. when you're when you're applying sunscreen and you need about an ounce or a palm full. Palm full of sunblock when you're doing that. That's a good measurement, a mm -hmm. palm bowl. Like it that. may seem like a lot, but I mean, lather it up so you don't end up with skin cancer. And reapply. And reapply awesome. about yeah. every two hours. But they say like you have to read the label because some, some sunscreens, like water resistant sunscreens, might run out their, their life about 40 minutes or so. So read the labels but in general, about every two hours. All right, so stay safe out there, and bye. Stay safe. Be mindful. Just breathe. Stay sweet. And stay fab. <laughs> You've been fablowed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>